Hello and welcome to the uh, video that I will hope will begin uh, bringing students towards the path to success in uh, World History One and pre-AP World History. This is uh, Coach Bowman and um, we will be starting a new quarter right now and hopefully in turn uh, starting a new leaf for several of you. So the point of this video today is to go through, I'm just going to pick um, um, a class and go through and walk you through uh, what I ex expect students um, to be doing. Um, it's something that I thought about what I can do differently this quarter to help. Um, and one of the goals for me is to uh, post more videos, post more uh, instructions of uh, assignments and things of that nature to try and make it as clear as possible. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I, I hope this presentation helps. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick second period uh, and go through this. Um, so, uh, if you're in one of the AP classes, the same idea is, uh, is there. Um, things are, might be a little bit different in the verbiage and the wording, but as far as um, the, the nuts and bolts, everything is, is still the same. So uh, the agenda, I will be posting the agenda under stream, as you see here. Um, and this was the one that was posted last week uh, on October 15th. Uh, this agenda covers week 10 and 11. Um, one thing that I am doing differently this quarter is under classwork. If you click on classwork, <clears throat> what I've done differently is under each assignment, I have uploaded the file it pertains to. So there's multiple ways that you can um, reach these assignments. Uh, again, go back to stream. You have the agenda. Let's go ahead and click on the agenda to open up the agenda. <clears throat> so as you can see, looking through the agenda, this will be covering weeks 10 and 11, uh, starting today, the 18th, and it will go through November first. Um, one of the things that I'm doing differently is I'm still posting the uh, agenda, or I'm sorry, the uh, essential questions on the agenda. However, I am not requiring students to answer those. Once again, the essential questions are not to be answered. Now, uh, scroll on down and you can see where the activities are. These will be your assignments. The activities uh, are your assignments. So you have three readings and questions that you need to answer. You have a vocab assignment and you have notes to take in two separate sections, part one and part two. What I would like for you to do is number one, you're going to go up here to file <clears throat> Click make a copy. You need to make a copy of this for yourself. And I'm going to change this a little bit so it looks what you should be seeing. You should be seeing something that looks similar to this. You're going to click on the My Drive. And here you're going to find a little icon down towards the bottom saying New Folder. If you have not done this, you need to pay attention and follow the instructions now. You're going to click on New Folder. And whatever period you have me for, whether it is period 1 or 2 or 6, whatever the case might be, make your folder for my class. Once you have that folder's title, you will click on the check mark. Once you click on the check mark, you're going to hit the word select, 
and the agenda will be saved in the world history folder. Once you have saved yourself a copy of that, you need to go File, and then right here it says Make Available Offline. This option allows students to look at files, to work on files that will not require internet. Once again, you're going to go to File, Make Available Offline. You can do these for any of the files with the exception of the videos. By making it available offline, you do not need the internet to work on the assignments. Let's take a look at the reading assignments. Please open up 3.1 Reading Assessment. For those of you that this is something new, something different, uh, these readings are coming directly from our online textbook. And I will go over that in the video a little later on. And as it starts to upload, um, once, you've up, once you've opened up this file, what I'm asking students to do is to once again go to File, and go down to make a copy. This will pull up the assignment. You need to put it in your world history folder. Now, I've gone and as you can see here, I'm opening up my files. And as you can see, I've got a lot of little folders. So I've got first, second, third, fourth quarter. This is my second quarter. So I put it here. It's under SOL 4. This is under India, and this is where I've added this file. So for you, you need to make sure that this is under your world history folder. If you put period, whatever you have me for, or world history or pre-AP world history, make that folder happen and put this document in that folder. Then you will click OK. Once you've got that folder, or that file in the folder, again, just like what we did before, you're going to make it available offline. Once you make a copy of this assignment, you will type on it. You can edit it to a certain degree. And if you would scroll down to the bottom of the article, you have these questions you need to answer. Now, depending upon your class, your period, the instructions are a little bit different. So again, if you're pre-AP, please pay attention to the instructions on the agenda. If you're in my second, fourth, fifth, or sixth period class, again, pay attention to the instructions on the agenda. <coughs> I'm going to exit out of this assignment. You will do the same thing for 3.2 as well as the 3.3. You're going to click on it, open up the file, make a copy, and make available offline. So you might be asking yourself, Coach, how am I going to go in and submit it? Well, that's a good question. Let me, let me open up another file or Google class. <clears throat> so this is the staff that um, Google class that I have and this is where we go and um, post our lesson plans so yes we have homework as well and so under lesson plans as you can see I've got lesson plans that are due coming up this this coming week all right um, so what I'll end up doing I'll click on that 
And this is going to lead us to where we submit the assignment. Uh, this is something that I've been having um, issues with with students the first quarter. Uh, and I, I think hopefully by doing this video and demonstrating this in class that uh, this will uh, solve this and prevent any more um, zeros from happening. So first and foremost, uh, if you have not added a file, do not, I repeat, do not mark as done. None of my assignments are a mark as done type of assignment. What you will need to do, all right, if this is your 3.1 reading assignment, if this is your vocab assignment, you need to go to Add and Create, go down to your Google Drive, and this is the reason why you make your folders. Once you go here, you're going to go to My Drive and find the folder where the assignment is. It should, keyword should, be in the history world history, the period that you have, and whatever you titled your folder for my class. You're going to click on that. I'm just going to use this as an example. And you're going to open up the file, whatever file you choose. You're going to click on it, and then you're going to hit the word insert. Once you get this blue bar going across, click on insert. And then watch what happens to the mark as done. It changes to turn in. This indicates that the file has been loaded and is ready to be submitted. This is when you then can click turn in. This is something that I think a lot of students have been having a hard time with and hopefully, like I said, this video will prevent that from happening. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to go back to my second period and look at the agenda. So again, pretty simple. You've got 3.1 reading, assess, reading and assessment questions, 3.2 and 3.3. Uh, these are three separate assignments that will be graded as individual assignments. Now, as I've shown my class today, uh, for A group, the vocab assignment. I'm going to open that up. Likewise, what I'd like for you to do now, just like what we did with the 3.1 through 3.3 reading and assessment questions, you're going to go to File and make yourself a copy and save it into your history folder. Once you've done that, you need to make this available to yourself offline. Once again, making it available to you offline ensures you the ability to work on it without the presence of internet. So if you're traveling on the weekends, if you're staying with grandma and grandpa who don't have internet or aunt and uncle, whatever the case might be, and you don't have internet access, you can still work on this. All right, I'm going to scroll down so we can have everything on this one 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 screen so here are the vocab for all three sections and as you can see it gradually gets smaller you will also see that there is a star or asterisk by some of the terms these terms as you can see right here are going to be in your notes not the textbook it's not going to be a bold term it's not going to be something that you would find in a glossary you might find it in the index of the textbook, but again, not, not going to be in the glossary. So please make sure you pay attention, follow the notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a Google slide for all of these, a Google slide presentation, and you're going to have one slide for every term. Every term is going to have a definition, a page, you can do the sources on, on, on the last slide, if you'd like, or on every individual slide. It's totally up to you. But I need to have sources of where you got your definitions from. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I want to show you where in the, you can find the online textbook. So you need to go to New Tab. And for some of you, 
you might have uploaded the extension called Realize Reader. If you haven't and you do have internet, you type in Realize Reader. And I'm, I've been using this all day today, so I'm going to sign out of my account so I can show you how to get it. Oh, never mind. It kicked me out already. So you will come to this page, all right? And again, make sure you pay attention to this. This is important. You, None of us have a username. None of us have a password. All you do is sign on to this or click this Savas Easy Bridge at the bottom, this little blue Easy Bridge. Click on that. You will then either, if it already has been put in, if you've already signed into this before, it's already popping up. If not, make sure you type in Amelia, and it should come up automatically, CO School District. Once you go there, you click on Go. Then you're going to go and log in to your Google account. Now your Google credentials. Now, because I'm the instructor, I have multiple books that I use, uh, but most of my students will see the, uh, the textbook with the Sphinx and the pyramid on it. That is our textbook, so please click on that to open it. And there is our textbook. So hopefully um, there's no uh, snafus, no little snags. Um, if you do come across it, please feel free to email me at bowmanben at ameaschools.com, B-O-W-M-A-N-B-E-N at ameaschools.com. So how do we use our textbook with the vocab? What I instructed students to do is click on Menu and go down to Glossary. Do not do a word search. If you search for a term here, what that does, and I'll show you. Let's go with Hinduism, since we're talking about India. And what it does is it pops up all the different times that the word Hinduism is brought up in the text. So this defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do. Once again, do not do that. So exit out. What you need to do is go down to Glossary. Click on Glossary. And you're going to click on the letter of your term over here. So if we're working on, let's say, Harappa, which is an ancient city, you click on that, and there is your nice, tightly packaged definition. So that is how you use the glossary in the textbook. If you can't access the textbook, you do have, again, the readings from 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. So you can use context clues. Again, all of these, all of these can be found in the notes as well. But again, the ones that are asterisks are strictly in our notes. You will not find them in the textbook. So that is the uh, explanation of the vocab assignment. So going back to the agenda, scrolling down to the third and final section, which are the notes and the presentation videos. The presentation videos are on YouTube. These will need internet in order to access those. Okay. The notes, you can go in, open it up, and just like before, you're going to go File, once it, come on, I'm going to click on File, make a copy, and make sure when you make your copy, you put it in your history folder. Again, this is for me. I have my ancient India folder. If you would like to take the time to make the subfolders, you can do so. I don't mind instructing on how to do that, but please email me or you can come up to me in class and ask. 
But you cannot type on this unless you make yourself a copy. And that's where a lot of students make that mistake. So please make sure you do that. The YouTube videos in the agenda follow exactly the same. All right. Um, just, again, follow along. You get the same, exact same maps on the PowerPoint that you do on your notes. Once you get done with those, submit them as well. Next week, we will be having our, uh, a quiz, a vocab quiz using Google Quiz on the India vocab terms. Please make sure you have completed the vocabulary before you take the quiz. It will defeat the purpose and sidetrack you if you take the quiz next week and have not completed the vocab assignment. So do the very best that you can to do that. So my biggest piece of advice that I gave students today uh, is pace yourself. You've got to figure out time management. I've decided, like I said, to um, reduce the amount of assignments this week. I've posted that you only have six to do. And seven if you want to include uh, the vocab quiz. And again, this is over a two-week period. Okay, this is, again, this stuff is not due until Sunday, November 1st. So please make sure you pace yourself accordingly. I know you have a lot of other stuff going on besides just my, my class, my course. Uh, I understand that. Again, this is why this is the bare minimum that I feel um, students can be successful if we do have an SOL by doing these assignments. One last thing. What I would like for you all to do is if at the end of this video, send me an email with the key term. If you get the correct key term, I will give you five points on the vocab quiz. Again, this is something that I'm doing differently this quarter. And if you listen to this entire video, you will get five points if you email me the keyword. When you email me at bowmanben at ameliaschools.com, in the subject line, you need to put keyword. Make sure you put the unit, which is India, ancient India or India. The key word is bingo. B-I-N-G-O. If you just email me, and again, all you got to do is put keyword in the subject, and then your body of the email, write the word bingo, B-I-N-G-O, and send that to me. You will just earn an extra five points for your vocab quiz. However, do not go and start spraying this on social media. This is something that if you want to keep this going, you need to keep it to yourself. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you. I hope nothing but the best for you this quarter and I hope we can stay on the right path to success. Thank you for your time. Stay safe. See you next time.